Hi, Pershing Wells coming to you from Digital Socklay Productions here in Homa, Louisiana. Today I'm in my studio. I'm uh, actually upstairs in my uh, studio. I've got a two-story building that's dedicated to the recording studio here. Uh, as you can kind of see, looking toward the back here, it's a nice room. Uh, it's got a great vibe. You know, we keep it nicely lit. It's comfortable. We want it to feel comfortable because we want the artist coming in, coming in here to be comfortable and, and concentrate on, on the performance and the attitude that they bring to a song rather than, you know, anything else. So, so we kind of keep it homey, you know, nice, uh, you know. I've got a vocal booth right here. You can kind of see the, the window for it here, and there's a door right in the back of me. That, that room's treated... It's highly treated, uh, acoustically dead in there by design uh, because we want to, after the fact, add ambience. Like if we want to add reverb to create a larger room or a concert hall or stadium or whatever or nothing, uh, we can do it after the fact. So that room is ex excessively uh, treated for to make it quiet and non-reflective. This room, actually, that I'm in now, if I have multiple vocalists, I'll put them out here, uh, either around a microphone in a figure of eight pattern or an omni pattern, or I put up a couple of microphones and put some dividers between the vocalists. So uh, this is slightly more ambient, this room. Uh, I'm actually using the camera microphone, so you can kind of hear, you might be able to hear air conditioner a little bit too, but. Uh, you can probably tell it's not a real reflective room. There's not a lot of echo going on in this room. Um, I do have some treatment throughout this particular room. It's, it's a corner treatment, too. Uh, to make it semi-live. Uh, and that's by design. So if we want to kind of hear that you're in a room, we'll, we'll put an acoustic guitar in here. If we want to emulate something larger or smaller, whatever, we'll put an acoustic guitar in the vocal booth. So all my mission critical vocals are cut in the vocal booth. Sometimes background vocals are cut out here. Uh, it just depends on the circumstances. Uh, this particular setting I'm in right now uh, is also where we do all the songwriter session videos that, that I record. I usually have a outboard microphone set up for the artists. I use two Sennheiser microphones for those medium diaphragm Sennheiser microphones, dynamic microphones, uh, to get those connected to my uh, mission critical microphone preamps downstairs. And this, today I'm just using a camera mic. But I uh, want to give you a little tour of the studio. Again, this is the upstairs portion. Behind me here through the door, as you can kind of see the light back there, uh, there's another room, another section to the, to the right as you go out. I was pointing to the left, but <laughs> to the right as you go out. And that's where it's, it's a little more lively than this room. So if I want to cut uh, an acoustic guitar with a microphone to get a little more room ambience or even a vocal to get that particular sound, I'll put a microphone in that room. For that reason, and also want to make note that uh, you know my clients who have been in the studio, they they know <clears throat> how secure our place is here. Uh, again, it's a two-story building. It's connected to my home, and my home is literally right outside this wall here, about three feet away. And there's a segue between my home and the studio, and it's totally secure. So. In the middle of the night, if I decide I want to come to work, if I'm thinking about a song that I want to edit, which has happened a lot, <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, get in my pajamas, I'll just walk in here. I don't have to go through my outside. I don't have to go outside, get in my car, drive downtown to a studio, unlock a door, the security of being doing that at 2 o'clock in the morning, or even going in my backyard, having to walk through the yard and unlock a door. This is totally secure. I come from my home into here, and it's completely, the segue is totally secure with deadbolts on both sides. So, uh, you know. so my wife uh, loves that, that feature, too, that you know, she can come in here while I'm working late, and she doesn't have to worry about anything. And my clients love it, too. So again, this is the upstairs portion of the studio. Uh, 
if you'd like to come by sometime, just give me a shoot me a message on Facebook or on YouTube, and we can arrange something. Uh, again, man, you know my whole attitude here is to get the best performance for my clients when they come in here. Attitude is everything. You know, I have tools to fix a lot of things, but I don't have a tool to fix attitude. So when I bring my clients in here, when they come in here, I stress attitude. So we want it to be a nice, comfortable place when they're here. So again, if you have any questions, uh, Persian Wells Digital Soccer League Productions here in home, Louisiana, going to 17 years, uh, October, going to 18 years, actually, October, uh, on October 4, uh, 1st, which is just a few days away from now. So uh, shoot me a note. Again, Pershing Wells here, Digital Soccer League Productions. Thanks and make it a great day.